Hello guys, how are you doing? Today we have another interesting topic. So as a software engineers, mainly if you are a backend developer, so what is the biggest complaint you are getting? System is slow, service is slow, right? So sometimes they say, okay, it worked fine, but sometimes it's slow. So now we need to pull our hairs to figure out why it is slow, why it is sometimes slow. Uh, most of the people like just say, okay, let's scale it. Let's put more instances. But sometimes you experience that problem is still uh, propagate into other instances as well. It doesn't solve just by adding more instances. So to understand this, to figure out this is why it's very critical. Because this ball is going from one code to other. Dev team says it's a network slow. The network people says no, it's a server side slow. And this ball going back and forth. But end of the day, still it's, you own it because it's your service, right? You can tell who's wrong unless otherwise you have a clear evidence why it is slow. So most of uh, software engineers don't know how to figure out this and how to debug this. So in the next video, I'm going to teach you how to uh, performance fine tune, fine tune your performance or like enhance your performance or find these type of performance issue on your microservices, especially HTTP based backends. But to go there, I need some, you to know something, right? Rather, I'm asking you to go and learn that. I'm going to uh, explain that how exactly this HTTP protocol works. We need to understand that in order to figure out what's wrong. Okay, so today we are going to do that. This is a very important video. So to understand this, it is must you go and watch my previous video because without that, you won't understand. Why? Because HTTP is uh, running on the application is running on the layer 7 but what we are dealing with HTTP is built on top of the TCP right so connection part main connection handling uh, happen in the uh, HTTP so you need to understand that in my previous video I clearly explained how this works how it's how TCP handle connection and the handshaking works so go and watch that before you uh, understand this video this one is more like a sophisticated vehicle, right? We have already, we have the road to go, but this is kind of a sophisticated luxury vehicle you to go to the destination. When you take HTTP, there are two branches. One is a persistence HTTP and other one is a non-persistence HTTP. Non-persistence HTTP is mainly HTTP 1.0, right? Uh, we mainly don't use that anymore, but Sometimes, maybe if you're dealing with a legacy system, you may have it. How that works, you open the connection, you send the message, I get the response and close the connection. That means one connection only therefore just for uh, pass one message. Uh, we have something called RTT, round trip time. So you send a packet to the server and that come back to the client, that's a round trip time, right? So now, in order to send a message, you need to open the connection, send the message, get the response and close the connection. Let's say you talk to the server and the server says, hey, you need to get these 10 files. Let's say you're loading HTML page, right? It has a 10 JavaScript, right? So now you need to open 10 different requests to the server to, in order to get these files, right? Your first request, you go and take the list of the files and then you open one request for each file. Why? Because it connect, it go there, take the file, take the response and close the connection. Since this is a little slow, uh, they introduce HTTP 1.1, which is a non persist which is a persistence HTTP. The persistence HTTP, again, there are two parts, right? With tunneling and without tunneling. Mainly by default, HTTP 1.1 is go with tunneling. So uh, we are going to look into that one and see how that works. Remember in last video, I explained you a scenario, the one team, a uh, one team spent uh, 20 days to figure out why the backend closing the connection as soon as they're trying to send the message. Okay. Today, we are going to see why that is happening. All right. So now if you get the HTTP 1.1, which is a, a persistence HTTP and it is a tunneling mode, how that works, you make the connection. Right? And you send the messages and then you get the responses and end of the day, uh, at, at end of transaction, either server or client can close the connection. So this closing connection and opening connection, we learn in a TCP level how that works. It's the same exactly how HTTP also doing that. But there's a little trick here. 
So let's say you send the request to backend a server, right? And server doing something, server busy with something, right? And then your underlying HTCP might close the connection, right? Or even let's say client sees, okay, service not responding, let's close the connection. To avoid that, we use a special technique called keep alive. What the keep alive mean, we just send the ping to the server, say, hey, keep this connection alive. And sometimes we do this like, some, like this as well. You send the request and you get the response. You have one more message to send, right? You send the signal to the uh, server, hey, keep this alive, okay? So let, let's just demonstrate this and see how, how this works, okay? And for that, for demonstrate this, I'm going to use uh, usual our Wireshark. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I have a small program, very small express based uh, program. How this works is, so you have express and then you have a wait endpoint, right? This endpoint can be anything, let's say ABC is fine. And then uh, it get the response, after that it say job is done. Okay, it run on a port 8191. And let's me to run this first, right? Server chairs. Okay, so now program is running. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, capture loopback interface and I'm going to filter this for tcp.port is 8191. Okay, so this is my port. So now there are no traffics. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a browser, right? I'm going to use a browser. So now this is better because we can see the port, right? So I'm going to do two, two demonstrations. Right. So what happened when the connection is idle? OK, so you send this request and you can see here the connection start with the sync and we do the sync act and the act. Right. So that's a standard TCP handshake. OK. And if you see here, you can see we send the request and we get the response. Right. So forget about this three or four uh, uh, not modified thing. Right. So forget about that. And now we get the response. And you can see here, server send the response back to client saying, hey, I'm going to close this connection, fin, right? Client act to server, uh, okay, fine. But client did not close the connection, okay? Client did not close the connection. Now, after some time, client, client sending, keep alive, right? Client sending, keep alive here. So when he sent the keep alive, see what server did. Server sent reset packet back to the client, right? Saying, hey, you're trying to talk to me once I close the connection, okay? But what if, what if, if we, let me to, uh, okay, I'm going to uh, stop this traffic, right? And I'm going to, so I'm going to stop the server and start a new filter here. Okay. So now I'm on incognito mode, right? I'm on incognito window, right? So now what I'm going to do is just after it's in the last week, last time what happened just after the response, it closed the connection, right? And what I'm going to do this time, just after we get the response, I'm going to send the re new request. Okay. See now what happened. Okay, so I'm going to uh, run the server and then packet is capturing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the request. Just after I get the response, I'm going to send another request, right? And I'm going to send another request to see uh, how backend is behaving, okay? So I send the request, I got the response and I send the request again. I got the response, I send the request again. I got the response, I send the request again, okay? So let's stop and see how this works. So every transaction usually start with a sync, sync act, act. That's a standard uh, TCP handshake. So you got that. And window update, we can talk about, about this in detail in the next video. And here, we are sending the request. Okay. So if you uh, check this one, it's going from client to server, right? And this one, the client is act for that one. Okay. And then, then here this one the server sending re response back to you right forget about this uh, 304 not uh, modified part but service and responding back to you now client is sending act to the response right you send the request 
server acted, servers in the response, you acted. Now we send the next one. Okay. And get the act and you get the response and the client acted. Right. You send the request, server acted, servers in the response, you send the act to that. So you can see this is goes as a cycle, but you can see there is no fin. Right. There is no fin here. Okay. Because what happens is, what happened here, we just um, skip talking to the backend. So backend is not trying to close the connection. That is what the persistence AP, uh, HTTP mean. Why? Because the connection is persistent. You only send the sync packet to hold this process at once. We send like five, six requests. To hold this channel, we only one time we send the sync. That means we only one time open the connection. Right? Then here, thereafter, we do it. Now, now I'm going to stop this. Okay. And I'm going to uh, do a little change here. Right. I'm going to do a little change here. I'm going to close that window. Okay. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to, uh, let's, let me to stop and start the server. It's not a big deal, but let's do start from the scratch. Now what I'm trying to do is, I'm going to um, open, uh, send the request, right? And that's it, one request, then after that I'm going to close the browser. Okay, see what happened. So I send the request, I got the response, right? You can see here, in a little while, server will close the connection. Server close the connection and I'm closing my browser too, right? I'm closing my browser too. Okay, so now, you can see if you stop this, right? Sync, sync act, act that's a usual thing. You send the response, your request, right? And then uh, server act to you, and then server send the response to you, and then you act it to the server. You said, hey, yeah, I got the response, and then server close in the connection, right? And now you act to that close, the client is act to that close. And now, since I close the tab, the my connection get closed from the client side as well. This is very important. Okay. In the very first time, what happened? First scenario, we uh, check three scenarios. First scenario, what happened? We send the request and client server close the connection, but we didn't close the connection. Right. We just keep sending keep alive headers and try to maintain the connection and then say, then server send the reset packet to us. But this case, uh, client close the connection since I close the browser the server also uh, the client also uh, close the connection with the server okay there's a full cycle one more use case us to check okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate a new scan okay I'm going to do little change to this one right so what it's going to do is Right. So now the request will come and hang for one minute. Right. And then uh, it will do the response. Okay. See what happened. And I'm going to send the request. So request will wait one minute. Right. So now you can see we send the request. Right. The server act to that. Right. Forget about these uh, act can like this window update for a moment. We are going to discuss that in the uh, next video. So now Server is waiting to get the response, right? And server will respond in after one minute. So you can see it is seven, uh, 17 seconds. They send now 60, uh, 62 seconds. That means 45 seconds later, it's sending keep a live header to the server. Why? Because server didn't respond. So now client send the keep alive. So this is very important, right? So you can see here. In the 17th second, we send the request. And then after 45 seconds from our last traffic to the server, so now it, what it does is, right, it's sending keep alive. It's sending client to the server. Why? Because now we are waiting for the server, right? From the client side, we are waiting to the server. So server here to respond. So now if we send the uh, uh, keep alive traffic to the server, Right, and then the server is responding back to our keep alive request. 
okay and after one minute later it is give you the response right 17 second and the 77 second that mean after exactly one minute later it give you the response okay and then you usually act to the re response and then server close the connection sorry uh, client try to close the connection right in this case yeah client is initiating the fin okay um so this is quite important right so let's try one more thing i'm going to start the server one more use case and i'm going to send the request so now we are waiting uh server to respond to us now see what i'm going to do is i go to back end and so where we are we are in a 492 right we are in a 492 and i'm going to close the server kill the server right so now i'm going to stop this let's see what happened okay so we were on a 492 here right we were waiting from the back end okay uh, back end to talk to us and then you can see here back end sending you a fin flag right back and sending you the fin, fin flag and you are sending ACK with a sequence 771 which is mean for this ACK right remember the last time we uh, discussed what is the uh, relationship between sequence and the ACK okay so now you are sending ACK to the uh, this fin as well why because you got the re uh, request but still still the server is now sending you the reset packet right reset packet why because you try to initiate a new connection right so now what happened here so uh, you send the request to server server closed the connection while it is processing something happened database crash out of memory something happened server killed right server got killed let's say you are on a kubernetes your pod is went offline so now you can see you are trying to initiate a new connection right your browser trying to initiate a new connection because connection closed right so this is the beauty here right so here you can see server saying hey i'm closing the connection client says yeah okay go ahead and close it and give me a new connection right so uh, client is saying okay let it go okay just let it go and client initiating a new connection but now server say reset packet why because server cannot bear this because there is no one from the server side to respond to this okay so now you saw what is the importance of this keep alive header and how client is maintaining connection with the server on the http protocol okay it is not that you send a bunch of requests and get the response uh, as as uh, the server wants no it is not there are a bunch of handshaking and the flag sending happening behind the scenes so now what happened to these previous people okay so what happened to them was so connection was half duplex okay connection was half duplex right so why because they didn't the client didn't send an uh, acknowledgement on the frequent time that the team who wait uh, started 20 days so now we saw in our first use case if the client not sending keep alive header server is closing the connection so server closed the connection but client didn't when the client tried to send the message again server send the reset packet back to the client why because connection is closed right that's why they're saying oh, every time when we're trying to send the message server close the connection that's not fair it is not not fair you don't send the keep alive header if you feel something like that if you see service unexpectedly close the connection that mean your side you don't send the keep alive and just the keep alive timeout it will work so we discuss we know how now tcp works and now we know how http works in the next video I'm going to show you how to debug these type of performance issues using this type of TCP dump. Okay, stay tuned, stay safe, take care, and make sure you subscribe to the channel.